Life Inside a Nuclear $13 Billion Aircraft Carrier Kitchen Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live inside a nuclear aircraft carrier kitchen, let alone one which costs $13 billion? I don't know about you, but the first thought that comes to my mind is that how it is different from my regular kitchen at home or in restaurants, let's say. But the most important question for a majority of us to even understand what this video is about is, what even is an aircraft carrier? An aircraft carrier is a large warship, particularly designed in such a way that it can act as a mobile airbase. However, there are certain requirements that need to be met in order to ensure the smooth operation of aircraft therein. Thus, to this effect, it typically has a long flat deck that is used to launch and recover aircraft as well as a range of other facilities for storing and servicing aircraft. To sum it up, aircraft carriers are like runways on a ship. The purpose served by them is that they help navies around the world project military power, both in terms of air power and as a means of moving troops and supplies to remote locations. But this is not all they do. They also provide loading to the entire crew. Life does not stop simply because one does not live in a city. At the end of the day, we must become self-sustainable. And that's exactly what these aircrafts do. Which is why they can also be called self-sufficient cities in themselves since they consist of everything that might be required on a day-to-day -day basis. What is surprising is that many of the operational crew members, in a way, end up spending all of their professional lives serving their duties at the sea. That's enough about aircraft carriers. We aren't here today to discuss any regular aircraft carrier, but the biggest aircraft carrier at sea. Thus, we present to you the Gerald R. Ford class, the aircraft carrier that is one of a kind, something that has never been seen before. What makes this aircraft special is that it is a home to a total of 5,000 crew members who are dependent on each other to survive on a regular basis. In order to function efficiently, they also work together. These carriers do not merely serve the purpose of being an avenue to launch aircrafts. Thus, there is much more to them. Just like any of us, they have needs too, needs that need to be met. No person on this planet can sustain without food. Thus, it is only natural that people involved in the functioning of the aircraft carrier would also require food to sustain themselves in such a hectic environment. In order to make sure that the ship does not run out of supplies, it is made a point that the ship consists of enough amount of food supplies before it departs from the port. Not only that, a surplus stock is also maintained in order to meet any unforeseen circumstances that might arise. I mean, it's better to be prepared than sorry. However, don't you worry if you forgot to efficiently stock your carrier. That doesn't mean you will die to hunger. You just need to know the underway replenishment technique and you will be good to go. In this technique, a box and wires are used to carry those boxes from the ship to another ship and in this box, various items can be filled. This ship is generally known as supply ship as it carrier supplies to be transferred onto the carrier. These supplies range from fuel to ammunition to your favorite Dordo chips, that is, if the personnel approves of it, although it is easier said than done. A critical aspect of this transfer is to ensure that the ship from where all of these items are being transferred is sailing right beside the carrier. Now you may wonder, how would it be able to accomplish that? In order to achieve this, all that needs to be done is that the second ship needs to ensure that it is sailing at the exact same speed as the carrier. And voila, you can easily transfer any supplies you might need. In a way, it can be said that this job is even more important than arming the aircraft carrier, as no one can function without food. A carrier with enough arms and weapons and manpower would be useless if it does not have food to keep the staff up and working. Tell me your thoughts by commenting in the comment box. What do you think is the most important task with regards to running an aircraft carrier? Now that we have discussed the possible ways of ensuring that the aircraft carrier remains stocked at all times, let's move on to discuss an even more critical aspect that is how much food should it stock. Let's assume that just like us, even the personnel on the carrier require a total of three meals a day at least. I mean they might require more, considering that their job is considerably more on the heavier side than ours, but for our ease, we'll keep the number of meals three. Now, according to this, a total of at least 15,000 meals are required to be produced in a single day. This is due to the fact that 5,000 people inhabit this carrier. Making these many meals is not only an expensive job but also a very arduous job. Further, it also requires a considerable amount of manpower in order to be done efficiently. Although what is funny and more common than it seems is that such a great amount of people sitting together for meals in a kitchen where these meals are being prepared day in and day out 
Looks a lot like McDonald's Kitchen as a lot of people are working together to serve the line of customers in the restaurant. But that is not all. What is important is that these meals are prepared and cooked properly because after every tiring task of a great chunk of the day, the personnel look forward to a satisfying meal. Thus, it plays a significantly huge role in keeping their morale high all through the duration of their deployment. It might be apparent by now, but a regular crew member is not equipped to handle such a great challenge, and because of this, the aircraft carriers have a whole department of culinary experts to handle the meals of all the crew members. The role of these chefs is just as important as that of the crew members present on the battlefield and keeping everyone safe from any attacks by the enemies. As you know, having the same meal daily can get quite maintained. So to maintain the spice, quite literally, a fixed menu cycle is follower for a pre-decided number of days, which is generally 15 days in totality. In order to ensure the smooth functioning of preparing as well as serving meals, there's a lot more that has to be done than just cooking the food and procuring raw materials. More importantly, they need to efficiently plan their day so that they are able to prepare all the meals on time. And in order to do this and execute it well enough, they often have to rise earlier than others so that breakfast is prepared on time everyone can get started with their day. The surprising thing is that while for ordinary people, breakfast timing might be somewhere around 8 am, this is not the case for people on board the carrier. The breakfast is served at roughly 6 am. Now, this might make you think that when does the culinary staff eve sleep to get up that early in the day and prepare food for such a large number of people? Sadly, the answer to this remains unknown and that is something only they can answer that how they are able to perform such a superhuman task. However, for the crew member not involved in the kitchen, this might seem a lot like bed and breakfast, except that they are not on a relaxing holiday at a beach, and they also have to get up considerably early in the morning and get to work. In order to make sure that there is no overlapping of work, every cook is assigned a particular task that they have to do to ensure that meals are prepared properly on time. Now, once the food is prepared, it is served to the crew chiefs and officers various sides of the aircraft carrier's galley. While we have discussed the preparation aspect of the task, the cost still needs to be considered. At the end of the day, on an average, the entire expenditure adds up to $45,000 and $60,000 per day. Yes, you had it right. It is certainly not an easy task to manage such a huge crew and prepare meals for all but these people do it, and we should appreciate them for it. Now that's all for today. And if you liked the video and made it till the end, do share this with your friends who want to serve the country but have no warfare skills so that they can explore their culinary talents and serve the nation.